This is a review for the brown bread from the Cheesecake Factory. I received this package of bread from a food pantry. It was very soft. I mean, it was like squeezably sh soft. It was like long sub rolls. They weren't sub rolls, but they were long like sub rolls. And they were just so soft. And I would cut it off at a slant and use it for like dipping in soup when I was eating soup or I made little sandwiches on it. I mean, it was just so good. It was the type of bread that made you want to just sit there and eat the whole thing. It's called heat and serve, but I never, I, it never made it to the, it never made it to the stove to heat nothing. I will cut it off on a slant and dip it in my soup, dip it in my oodles and noodles. Whatever I was eating, I would dip it in there and it would just sop up the juice because it was just so soft. I mean, it was just really, really good. I'm not a bread person, but every once in a while, I like to buy bread. I mean, I buy a loaf of wheat bread maybe once every two weeks or whatever. But I'm not really a bread, bread person. But every once in a while, if I can find a good bread, I will eat it. And this, I was eating. Whether I was putting grated cheese on it or I was making little miniature salad, sandwiches with salad because I make a shrimp tuna salad. And I sometimes like to put it on bread. Oh my God, it was so good on this bread. I have nothing negative to say about it. So, if you really like good tasting fresh bread, I'm going to need you to find this in your local stores. Go online and look for it. It's called the Cheesecake Factory at home. Oh, I don't know what to tell you. I might have to go into the Cheesecake Restaurant and see what it's really about, you know. But it was great. It was great, great, great. Finito. I was... I was amazed and I was happy at the same time. I have had no negative reactions to it. So if you've had any interactions with this bread, please share your opinion. Positive and negative reviews are always welcome.